Hello, my name is Thomas Wink. I'm application engineer with Sigfo to the LiDAR scanner. In this video, I want to show you how to connect and mount the LRS 4000. First, let's talk about the mounting possibilities of, for this device. There are two possibilities for flexible mounting. On the one hand, there are two M5 screws on both sides of the device. These are supported by a mounting pin. This option is foreseen for rear mounting. Besides this, you can use also the M5 screws on the bottom. This is, for instance, for an upright mounting. To give you an example, let's set up the sensor with a standard mounting bracket for the rear mount. For example, if you have this bracket already mounted to a wall, you can slide in the mounting pin and you see it's already fixed. The same is for the downward mounting. And then you take the screws and finally tighten them cross over. So this mounting method gives you the benefit to attach the device horizontal to a wall or aiming downward if attached to a steel beam or a crane, for example. So next, let's talk about the connection possibilities of the LS4000. There are three connectors on the back of the device. The connectors are M12 type and flexible. That means that the angle can be changed by turning the connectors to the right or the left side. The four pin connector on the left is for the ethernet connection. The eight pin connector at the center contains five IOs for switching inputs and outputs, two dedicated encoder inputs, for example, for receiving the angular data of a swivel unit, as well as one pin for ground for all digital inputs and outputs. The right five pin connector contains the power supply, the main ground, as well as an additional I.O. For more detailed information on the pin assignment, please refer to the operating instructions. For demonstration purpose, you can use this power supply, the order number 207, 96 or 9. This is interchangeable and you can match it to your local outlet. Put it on the rear side and tighten it. For the Ethernet connection, you put the cable here, turn it until you can slide it in, and then you fix it. Thank you for watching this video. We hope to see you in the next video where we will explain how to configure the LS4000 via the graphical user interface.